everyone. Hey guys. And welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. And I'm Jeremy. And we got another fun episode planned for you. Yes. So in this episode, we're going to be using the spinner from one of our sponsors. Yes. Using a split cup from another one of the teachers. Yes. And doing a technique that's similar to another one of the teachers, all from the fluid art experience. Yes. So it wasn't intentional, it just happened to end up being like <laughs> that, actually. So we'll tell you a little bit more about that when we get to the yeah. table. However, I do have something to show you. Mm -hmm. So, I got a brand new something something to show you. This is my, our, Blob Where You Live series. And these are custom state shapes that you will be able to purchase your own state and then if you tell me the city in which you live and if you can see right here dallas dallas is represented by a different color blob with the rest of the state then covered in all the blobs and i'm hoping that you can see just that too if it's it's probably not focusing on us but there you go these are all blob paintings so this is the state of texas and uh, this has Dallas in black and white. Yep. And then the rest of the state is red, white, and blue. So custom pieces that you can now order from www.massyartstudios.com. All you need to do is tell me your state, your city, and then pick the three colors that you want me to blob. And then one of those can be winging its way to you. Absolutely. Custom state pieces. Yes. Blob where you live. All right, that's it. My, my sales pitch is over. I'm ready to get to the table. I'm ready to get to the table too. Let's do it. Well, hello, ladles and jelly spoons. <laughs> Good morning to you all. Happy Sunday. Sunday. Um, what you see before you is actually one of the spinners that has come to us from Bell's Creations. She's actually one of the Massey Posse, one of our patrons, yeah. Jillian, lovely, lovely person, who's actually one of the sponsors of the Fluid Art Experience. Oh, nice. So in some of the gift baskets that we'll be giving away and raffling at the gala dinner, some of you will have the opportunity to win some of these fabulous spinners. Um, they are so smooth. I really love them. We've been using this one for a while, as you can see. Now atop the spinner, we've got the fluidart.co wonderful uh, pouring mat, yes. which is always really awesome to use as well. It just kind of protects the top of the spinner a tad. And um, I said this in the intro, but this one is kind of inspired by another person at the Fluid Art Experience, who is yes. Nate Bright Art. Yeah. He does these wonderful, wonderful Nautilus pours, which are these like really wonderful, it looks like the, the Fibonacci shell. Of a, of a sea creature and um, I really love them. This is inspired because it's not intending to be that. One of the Christmas presents that we got this year which was really awesome from Kayla, one of our wonderful relatives, yes. it is Jeremy's what? Grand niece? niece? Great niece? niece. Nope, you're, just, you're, just, just your niece. niece. Just your niece. Was this bag of like pouring awesomeness, like things to pour on. Now this is what we would use to do Nate's Nautilus pour, but there's all sorts of things in here, different sizes, different shapes. Well, I picked up this really cute strainer that's got little hearts on it, but I love it because it's got a little foot on it. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it's gonna elevate it up off the canvas. So my intention is that I will put this on here I'll pour into it and then we'll spin it out. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. So what are my colours? Well, I am using leftovers. I've got this really wonderful, this is the Liquitex Basics, actually. It's the Carmine Red. Um, I've got Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam and then I've got Silver. So it's very red, white and blue. Nice. Very patriotic, in fact, sir. So what is my plan? Well, Let's do this. I've got my split cup here. And the other person at the Fluid Eye Experience is actually Mixed Media Girl split cup. And I'm going to layer these three colors into the three chambers. And then I'm going to split cup pour that into my little contraption. All right, so let's do this. Um, let's think about how I want these colors in this cup. I'm going to put the blue in this chamber. I'm not sure we've used this cup before. It looks very, very clean, show pony. <laughs> I'm going to put the red in the middle. I 
and I'm going to put the silver in the far end. I'm wondering if that red and blue next to each other is going to turn purplish. It may do. That would be amazing. It's kind of half of the plan, but I also wanted the silver just to be that, like the highlight and the low light on the yeah. side. So there's a wonderful layered split cup, nice and easy. www.mixedmediagirl.com for all of her wonderful stuff. And then in this pot here, there's just some leftover paints. This was a really wonderful kind of like light silvery teal. There was some silver, some pearl white in here as well. So this is just a flow extender. This is just a paint that's gonna allow me to get the rest of my colors and composition onto this canvas. All right, let's do this without much further ado. I'm gonna put my wonderful little strainer somewhat central kind of hoping that that's where it's yeah, at looks good yeah yeah and then let's ring pour into the middle of my strainer and just see what happens i would be lying if i would say that this is a humongous experiment i would not be lying if i would say this is a humongous experiment i've never used any of these strainers before i'm just going to see what happens as we pour it out onto the canvas So next, to remove this from the canvas, one of the things that I always find visually less appealing is the center of a lot of these pores, because mm. I always feel like they look a little messy, whereas everything else looks super, super cool. Um, so good thing is I've got a little kind of nubbin in the middle to help me pick this up. And I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna try and kind of spin it as I do that, um, just like this. Oh, that's cool. It would have been cool had I not have like splodged in the middle, but I'm okay with that. Um, all right, show pony. I think it is actually now, in fact, spinning time. You spin me right round, baby, right round. There we go, just like that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, that's cool. All right, so there it is. Hmm. Playing around with plate paints today. Not the most fabulous of compositions. I should have kind of spun the canvas like Jeremy was saying in my ear, um, just like uh, Nate does, just to try and get some of the different colors on different sides. Should have probably fixed the middle as well. Um, but as far as kind of just playing around with this and seeing what it was all about, kind of enjoyed it. Um, sometimes it's just about playing around and, and doing what you want to do, um, which is exactly what I did this time around. So um, there you have it, folks. Um, I am going to scrape my edges and then I'll try and take you guys in for a close-up. I love it. Thank you, everyone.
Hey guys, it's Jeremy here, and boy, am I excited about today's pour. Of course you are, Chevrolet. Yes. Name. I'm going to be doing something really special, but before that, let me tell you about my canvas. Okay. It is a uh, 12 by 24 inch canvas. It's a delicious canvas. Yes, it is a great canvas. I'm really excited about it. What um, are you doing been... on it? Oh, well, let me show you. Let me, let me pass you it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be doing a balloon kiss. And uh, just like Jilly Cube does on okay. her channel, which so many of them, so many of them, and she does so good. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful balloon yeah, kisses. Absolutely. I love her compositions; they're always really stunning. Yeah, so I can't wait to get started with this. Let me introduce you to my colors. Okay, let me move that you off. Okay, I have yellowish green by Amsterdam. Love it. Yes, I have vermilion, which I'm in love with. Of course, it's orange. Yes, it's orange. Uh -huh. um, I have dioxazine purple. Okay. Beautiful dark purple. I have Carmine Red mm -hmm. by Amsterdam, yep, I yep, believe. Yep, yep, yep. I have Prussian Blue. Right. And I think this is uh, also Amsterdam. It is. And then I have 24 karat Deco Arts Metallic Gold. And what's your base coat color? My base coat color is just going to be plain old white. Okay. Explain to me what you're hoping the composition is going to look like. Is it the normal kind of field of flowers that you go for? Yeah, okay. I want to go for like a field of flowers. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yes. It's, you know, it's beautiful. So. <laughs> yes, I appreciate it. I that. love fields of flowers. Well, look at that. Yes. I think that's a great old plan. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So tell me, talk me through the steps because not a lot of people will know what a balloon kiss is all about. What are you doing okay. first? Well, I'm going to go ahead and put a base coat of white about three quarters of the way down. Okay. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pour my colors out onto the canvas. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit of white. I'm going to pour it on the edge. Okay. And then I'm going to swipe that over my composition. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And then I do the balloon kisses. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Well, I've got yeah. your little spatula ready there for you That's too now. Fantastic. And we apologize for any of the background noise when it happens. It's a weekend. It so there's a weekend. lawn mowers, people shouting and screaming in the gardens, people yes. driving up and down the alley. It is what it is. Kids skipping. Exactly. <laughs> and that's just Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so All right, so let's get to it. Let's do it. All right, guys. So I have my base coat down third of the canvas uh, covered. Two thirds. Two thirds of the canvas mm -hmm. covered. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Sorry. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Math. Math. It's hard. Um, and so now I'm going to start layering my colors, my paints. Okay. In, in, do they, oh, well, we'll see as you lay them. Carry, yes. Please carry on. Yes. So I think I'm going to start with this lovely dark green purple. Okay guys, so this is where the swiping part comes in. Okay. So I'm gonna pour some white over here and right. I'm gonna just swipe it gently over the top of this and probably pour some more here and swipe it this away. Okay. And then you have to let it sit for 20 minutes because you want that paint to be tacky when you do- Tacky tacky. Yes. All right. Whenever you do your balloon dips. Let's get at it. All right, let's do it. Yeah.
Okay guys, so this is where I'm gonna tilt it back and forth just a little bit to spread the paint out and then I'm gonna torch it. Okay. Okay guys, now I'm gonna let it sit for 20 minutes. And the reason for that again is? To get the paint tacky, so that way whenever you do the balloon uh -huh. kisses, that it like, it does them better. Better. Okay, I get, I understand what you mean. Yeah. The, for it to kind of be more sticky. Yeah. Okay, 20 minutes? 20 minutes. So let's just start that clock. Is this thing on? <laughs> yes, everything is on. Um, so, I have my canvas here that has set for 20 I love it. minutes leave it just as it is it's so cool look at all the cells that I are popped know. up from the gold and i have prepared two blobbing spaces for you sir one on yes. the left one on the right yes all right so here we go i got my balloon here let's okay. do the first balloon dip okay i think i want to do it right here right there yeah a balloon kiss oh, huh. okay all right I'm not mad about it. All right, let's do another one. Okay guys, so I'm loving all this part. I guess I had too much white paint across here because whenever I tried to do my little flowers at the top, that there was just too much white paint. So lesson learned and uh, for future reference, less white paint on the top. Mm -hmm. Yes, so pour it off, swipe it off, whatever. Um, I love all that's happening through here. I love all the different colors and the excitement that's happening. Um, I'm going to keep that as is and yeah, this is me done. Okay. Let's take yeah. him in for a close up. Let's take you in for a close up.
So there you have it, folks. There you have it. Hmm, may I start? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what was wrong with me today. I know, I'm sure you guys have these days too. Mm. And it doesn't happen to me very often um, that I just wasn't feeling it. Mm. I don't know, I woke up maybe on the wrong side of the bed this morning and I went in the studio not really feeling what I was planning on doing and I didn't actually love what came out on the on the canvas i think i could have done it better i could have done it differently but i i enjoyed playing around with the little strainer and um definitely saw things that i would do differently next time like spin it you know whilst i was pouring pouring into the top of it um i, I don't think it was a terrible piece no i actually really liked it but it was definitely in my top five of all time hated pieces <laughs> And I, I listen, we always say we're going to tell you the good, the bad, the ugly, and that for me was just not that great. Yeah. So, yeah, that's how I feel about my piece. How do you feel about yours? You know what? I am indifferent yeah. because I love Jilly Cube's uh, balloon uh, kisses. I do too. And they're so beautiful. They're not easy to do. They're not. And I let my paint sit for the 20 minutes, but what I didn't do was I didn't have my white thin enough. Right. So whenever I was doing my balloon dip, like it wasn't, the color wasn't sticking right. um, to the white areas. But, uh, but I actually liked what happened at the bottom personally. He didn't like it, I liked it. So, you know, there you go. For me, this was a complete not a dud of an episode, I'm afraid. Oh. You know, we wanted to show you what we were doing, what we were playing around with. Yeah. We could quite easily have just poured two more pieces for you, but we decided not to do that. We just yeah. wanted you to, sh to show you that not every single piece is a masterpiece. Yeah, you just gotta keep going. Just gotta keep going. Um, and, and go and revisit. If you haven't done a technique for a long time, go back check it out again. Go watch your episodes or go watch someone's yeah. episodes. Yeah. Um, go back to your notes because some of these techniques actually have steps that you have to follow in order to get to yeah. a composition that you love. Absolutely. Yeah, so uh, a fun episode for us by all means, but definitely not two winning pieces. Yeah. But let us know what you think. Um, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so you let us know what you think about these for sure. Absolutely. So as I said, the blob where you live pieces are now available to purchase as custom pieces on the Massey Art Studios website. So please go check that out. And uh, maybe you can get your hands on one of these 23 inch wooden panels just uh, customized just for you. And um, there will be a train. We've got Gina, we've got Mina, the yeah. baby Brian. There's gonna be other people pouring today. Yeah. So please go check those guys out. Fluidartexperience.com for more tickets for the Dallas Experience. Yeah. And we'll see you back here on Tuesday. All right, guys. All right, guys, we'll see you then. Bye. Bye. So what's a Patreon? What is a Patreon? I'll let me tell you. So the Patreons are a very special group of people. They are. They are here with us chatting all the time in the lives. You'll see them and you'll know these names as we run through them. But they wanted to have a little bit of an extra support, a little bit of an extra yeah. look at what goes on behind the scenes. So our Patreon account, completely separate, and at certain different levels, you get different perks. Yes. So at the bronze and silver levels, for example, you might get sneak peek pictures and sneak peek videos, yeah. things that happen behind the scenes in the studio. Yeah. At the gold level, you get that. Plus, you also get a live stream once a month. Yes. Access to a WhatsApp group where we all sit and chat and yeah. kind of just- So much fun. Talk about pieces and yeah. exchange motivations and color theory and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. It is a lot of fun. And then at the platinum level, you get all of that. And then you also get a live tutorial. tutorial once a month. Yep. So lots and lots of really fun stuff that isn't necessarily what you get to see on the YouTube account, um, but it is something a little separate. Yes. So we have some special thank yous to do. Yeah. For our gold pourers, we have Crafty Chicken Mom. Amy. You've got Elizabeth Gilano. Yeah. Gillian Kennedy. You've got Gloria Salaki. Yeah. You've got Jane Klein. Uh -huh. Kelly Stowell, yep. or Feral Arts. <laughs> You've got Kirsten Blackley. You've got Linda Seriani. Yep. We've got Mary Doulas, or Mama Doulas. Mama Doulas. We've got Patsy Petrelli, yep. the Pocket Rocket. We've got Nate Bright, he will live and love, he's got his own channel. Mm -hmm. You've got Sharon Luffy, Stephanie Hancock. 
Stephanie Hancock. With those hugs. We've got Tammy Hasbrook. We have Terry Leshner. And we have Trisha West. Yes. And... And in the platinum level, we have the awesome Elaine Burton. Super awesome. Yes. We have Janice Pittman. And Steve. And Steve mm -hmm. Pittman. We have Susan Chigori. Oh my gosh, she's bought so many pieces for us. <laughs> I know, I know. Her walls are covered in art. I know. And we have Susan Shepperson. Oh my goodness, you all know Susan. Susan Shepperson, she's at every single premiere. Yep. So thank you, Susan. We see you all know that. Yes. And to all of you guys and everyone else that you'll see here down below, we really, really, really do appreciate you. It is with your support that we keep our stocks of canvases and paint coming. Yeah. And it really does mean that we can just continue throwing up content for you all. I know. So thank you so very much, guys. You guys truly are the best. It helps us so much. It really does. Thank you guys.